Hello friends. So let us go with the third problem from the latest code forces around 750. Problem name Grandma Kappa knits a scarf. Cool. So you can go the problem statement. I will tell you in simple terms. It states that you're given a string that is like printed on a scarf and you want to make that string palindrome. Now how you can make that string palindrome? You can take any character. Okay, whatever you want. And then for that character, you can erase only that character occurrence from that string. So you can see there that uh, she will choose a lowercase English letter and erase some occurrences of that character in string S. So let's say that if you choose X, or you will choose like W. So you can only delete out W from that string, no other character. And also you, you are given that you can delete out W, but it is up to you that you want to delete out or not, or, or how much W you want to delete, but you can only delete out Ws. Okay, cool. Now your final task is to make that string palindrome. That is your main task. You can only choose one character that you want to remove and then choosing out that you have to tell that if you choose any character, what is the minimum number of like uh, changes or like deletions you have to do to make the whole string palindrome. Cool. That's the whole problem. Now, if it is not possible at all, the answer is minus one. Cool. Now in such a problem, uh, whenever I see that you have to check for any particular alphabet and because the total number of alphabet, alphabets are 26. So you can do this for every alphabet and check that whether removing like taking A as an alphabet, whether I can make removing some occurrences of A can make it a palindrome. Take B as alphabet, like removing some of the occurrence of B will make a palindrome and, and so on. So because there are 26 checks and every check will take O of N time complexity because iterating over the whole string and checking that. So the overall time complexity turns out to be O of N only, but we are checking it 20 times, 26 times. Cool. Now, how can we check that? Like, let's say that if I'm taking A as a character that I'm removing out, how we can check that, which character I have to remove, like how many changes I have to do. Now that's the whole problem. Uh, let us delete it out. So let us take any, uh, let's, let us take this, uh, example only. So it will become more clear to you. Sorry. Copy. Let's go to that. Paste it here. Cool. So let us uh, make its size larger. Yeah. So uh, what you can observe it is that this is the string we're talking about. Cool. So that the string is A, B, C, C, A, C. Okay, cool. So let's say that I want to delete out A first. Cool. If I want to delete out A, I want to make it a palindrome. So it means that the first and the last character should be same. So I can use two pointers to check it out. I can put two pointers here. So let us take some other color to it. Make it more clear. I will pick one pointer here, one pointer here. If they both are same, then obviously they are forming a palindromic uh, pair. So don't change it out. But if they're not forming a pair, like they're not same. So obviously I have to remove something and what I can remove, I will remove the character that is equal to the character I've chosen. That is a, so if any one of them is a, then I can remove this out and like keep moving forward. If any one of them is not a, then obviously they're not equal. This pair and this pair should be like these two characters should form a pair and they are not equal. Like any of them is not equal to a we're talking about. Then we just break out that this case is not possible at all because we are forming it a palindrome and we have to make it a pair. These two characters I have should be make should be made a pair. Okay. And like any one of not of them is not equal to A. So I cannot like delete out anything. And that is the whole like no say. So I cannot move any further. So the answer for this is like is a very large number. You can just make it at infinity number and uh, very large number. And uh, like we can move forward for the next character. Else, what you can see is that. If any of them is equal to A, what you can do here is that remove all this character. Okay. Then move your character to the next point. Okay. That like I move out the character for the next point. And that is also possible that now match BB. This is possible. So BB is forming out a perfect pair. So you will take both of the, both of them, both of the pointers and move further. So this C and this is A. Cool. Now again, I'm at A, like they both are not same. So I have to move or delete some of them. So I can delete out this A, like delete out this A and move up a pointer to this point. Now C, C is forming a pair, which is fine. So let us take 
and move off the both of these pointers to AA. A is also moving up like forming a pair so it is fine and then we iterate out that this is a valid palindrome so how many characters we have deleted two so for taking a as the character we want to remove i have to delete out these two a's and that's the answer okay in this case as you can see that they are one two three four a's but we are just deleted out two a's cool so that's the whole logic for this problem like you will do the same iteration for b then c and d and whatever character you are giving the minimum number of changes that you will store Okay, that's the whole logic for this problem. Let's move on to the code part now. Okay, uh, let's see what we're doing here. Take the input of S. Okay, let's zoom it out. Take the input of N, S. We just initialize the answer with a very large number. You can, the maximum number of changes is the length of the string. Okay, and that is 10 to the 5. Uh, so, like you can, like make it 10 to the 6 also. I'm just making it a very large number, 10 to the 9. For every character to from A to Z, the total number of changes or total number of deletions you have to do is zero. Then there are two pointers at the initial and the like left and right. And then if the left and right are not equal, then you will check that if they're not equal, I have to delete either the left or the right. And we have to delete the left or right depending upon which is equal to the character I want to, like it is equal to the character we have chosen that is equal to I. So if the S of L is equal to I, then I can delete that. If the right one is equal to I, I can delete that. If any one is not equal to I, then the answer is that I cannot delete any one of them and that is a no set. So I will like break out at this point. So we'll break out and make our total number of changes a very large number. Else if this is equal to I, I will like increment my left pointer and, and increment my changes because I've like deleted that number. Similarly for right side. And if they both are same, if S of I, like the left and right uh, character are same, then we just increment the left by plus one and R by minus minus. Cool. And in the end, when you break out for this file loop, you will just take your answer and minimize it over all the full, like all the 26 characters. And just in the end, if your total answer turns out to be equal to infinity that we have chosen, then it means that for any of the characters, we are not found out the answer. So the answer turns out to be minus one. Else if we have found out the answer, then the answer is that answer. Cool. So that's the whole code and the logic for this problem. If you still have doubts, you can mention down. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you next one. Thank you coding and bye.